ever wondered how to get your content in front of thousands of potential readers without them having to search for it? Let me introduce you to Google Discover. In the next few minutes, I'll walk you through the ins and outs of it and what you can do to get your articles featured. Google Discover is their way of showing your content to people without them having to search for it. It's a personalized feed in the Google app that shows articles, videos, and other stuff it thinks people will like. Google uses what it knows about the users to make these suggestions, including past searches, the location, and their interests. It's actually pretty smart and the more people use it, the better it gets at figuring out what they want to see. And for publishers, this is a big deal. If Google thinks your content is a good fit for someone, it will show up in their Discover feed. That means potential traffic without relying on traditional search results. Google Discover is a different way to reach people and it's becoming more and more important in the digital marketing world. People can also use the Google Follow feature on the app. This feature lets people stay updated on topics they care about. It's a way to follow specific topics, creators, and get personalized recommendations inside the Discover feed. Basically, the Google Follow feature is a way to train what content people want to see more of or less of. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing. Our goal at SEO testing is to save you time so you spend less time pulling data into Excel and more time thinking about how to get more traffic from Google. Also, if you enjoy this content and want to see more like it, please leave a comment. Now, back to the video. One important note to consider about Google Discover is that there is no guaranteed method to be featured. However, there are some things that if you do, will drastically improve your chances of being featured on Discover, and that's what we will discuss in this section. Creating high quality content that truly helps your audience should be one of your main focus as Google tends to love stuff written by real experts that showcase their knowledge. Since Google's helpful content update, they have been pushing for better content across the board. So make sure you are ticking those boxes when it comes to EEAT. Although there's no magic formula, if you consistently produce top-notch content that meets users' needs, you will improve your chances of showing up in Discover. Next, you must also nail your headlines and descriptions, which are key for grabbing attention and clicks. Google cares about giving users personalized and relevant recommendations, and your headlines play a huge part in that. Make sure they are compelling and engaging. The same goes for your meta description they should give users a clear idea of what they'll get from your content. When creating content for Google Discover, also pay attention to the visuals. Use high-quality images that really improve your content, as they'll catch users' eyes, which is crucial for getting featured. Add alt text to your images, too. This way, you are catering to users, including those with visual impairments who use screen readers, and it also helps Googlebot understand your content better. It's a win-win scenario. To up your chances of landing in Google Discover, don't forget about structured data. This is not a must, but it's a smart move. By implementing it on your pages, you are basically giving Google more details about your content. And this is like making your content speak Google's language, making it easier for them to showcase it to the right audience. You also need to have fresh content to get featured in Google Discover. Google loves current information, especially breaking news or unique tips, and usually new stuff tends to get more clicks than evergreen content in Discover. Even if your content isn't news-related, we recommend you update it regularly to keep it relevant and have more chances of featuring in Google Discover. This approach doesn't just help new content shine, it can also breathe new life into your older stuff. You've probably heard that social shares can help get your content featured on Google Discover. Well, we have some real-world experience to back that up. We published an SEO checklist article in July, and Aleda Solis, a big name in the SEO industry, shared it on Twitter and LinkedIn. Her tweet got almost 13,000 views and 40 reposts, and on LinkedIn, it racked up more than 340 reactions and 38 reposts. And surprise, surprise, on the next day, our article showed up on Google Discover, pulling in more than 2,000 clicks in just three days. That's the most we have ever gotten on SEO testing from Google Discover traffic. Now, Google hasn't officially said social shares are a factor, 
but based on what we have seen, it sure looks like they can help get your content noticed and featured. To keep track of your Discover appearances, I recommend you add over to Google Search Console. In the Performance Report section, you will see the Discover tab. This is where you can see clicks, impressions and CTR exclusively from Google Discover over a time frame. And by scrolling down, you'll see which pages popped up in Discover and where they showed up geographically. There's even a Discover Appearance tab that breaks down the types of content you've got featured. But don't panic if your Google Search Console doesn't show much data. This is pretty common, especially if your site isn't getting a ton of Discover traffic. Unlike the regular search results report, Discover information can be a bit sparse. That's just how it goes sometimes. Now, if you want to make the most out of your Google Search Console data, use SEO testing to set up SEO tests and know what changes to your site increase traffic. We have a 14-day free trial for you to test it. Sign up using the link in the description. Thanks for watching.